Very good morning to you. Welcome to Match Day Live Under 17's Premier League Cup action today as Manchester City take on Stoke City at the City Football Academy. Familiar faces with the pair meeting just three days ago in the under 18 Premier League. 14 of the 22 players who played in that match start here in East Manchester this morning too. Five of those playing in the blue of Manchester City. George Murray-Jones, Ezra Carrington, Jacob Wright, Matty Whittingham and Alfie Harrison. So here's how Manchester City line up. Ben Wilkinson side, Murray-Jones in goal. Back four of Carrington, Wright, Samuel and Naylor. In the midfield, Okeke, Whittingham and Harrison in the midfield. Harrison scored a hat-trick last time out in this very competition. Emilio Lawrence gets his first taste of under-17 Premier League Cup action since signing from Everton last month. Heskey and Muir, his front three partners. Stoke City sit top of Group G at the moment. Four points and a better goal difference than Manchester United in second. Nine of their players from Saturday start today with Sidibe and Lowe, the captain, coming into the side. So Houston is their goalkeeper. A back four from them of Asplin, Rowley, Griffin, Bickerton and Challoner. A midfield forward advancing wingers of Maskell, Smith, Sidibe and Hayder. It'll be Watson and Lowe who start up front this afternoon for the Potters. Manchester City have to uh, win to stay in the competition. Stoke currently sit top. A draw will keep them there for now. The top two teams of each group go through. Seven of them in total and then the best runner-up from the groups combined. Should City win today, they'll look to Manchester United against Blackburn Rovers tomorrow and hope the Lancashire side can do them a favour against their cross-city rivals. So the two captains in the centre circle at the moment, that's Lakyle Samuel of Manchester City and Nathan Lowe of Stoke City. Manchester City last time out in this competition, 6-0 winners over Blackburn to get them that first win of the competition. It followed an unfortunate 4-3 derby defeat to Manchester United. Stoke drew with United last time out, a one-all draw for them before uh, beating Blackburn 4-2 in the opening match round. So Jaden Heskey, the World Cup on, the son of the former England striker, Emil Heskey. We'll look to get us underway here. Big game for Manchester City. They know... A win is their only way through, really, to defend their crown. They are the reigning under-17 Premier League champions. And we're almost ready for kick-off. Grey skies in East Manchester. It is a cold winter's day. Let's hope for some good action to keep us warm throughout. And off we go, then. Jaden Heskey beginning the proceedings of Manchester City. Already looking to rotate the ball around the back. Synonymous with the whole style of play throughout the football club from the academies to the first team. He's Carrington to the edge of his own penalty area. Manchester City in sky blue, as I'm sure you'll know. Stoke in those changed away strips, the dark black kit. He's right. Carrington just used Matty Whittingham, who can play in the defence, but today is operating that central midfield role, the 17-year-old. About Manchester City being the under-17 Premier League champions, Whittingham was part of the under-18 Premier League champions as well last season. 15 times he played in. That side for Ben Wilkinson. Here's Okeke. Came on as a substitute in the weekend win over Stoke. 3 1 win for Manchester City's under 18 side. Eski. Options here as Manchester City look to spread the play out to the right hand side. Here's Lawrence, his first taste. What an impression he could make, but he's ball through to the edge of the penalty area. Only finds a Stoke man, Heskey working hard to win it back. Stoke will want to shield this out, and Lawrence does brilliantly there to keep it in play. Into the penalty area he goes, the layoff just a little short. 
And Keke kicks it alive for Manchester City. Is Carrington. Samuel. Carrington again. Whittington. Whittingham is in. Support should he need him. It's going to form the opening two minutes of this game so far. Manchester City with most of the ball. Stoke now do pick it up. What can they do with it? Not much is the answer. All right. Sloppy back pass there might have helped Manchester City, uh, Stoke City rather, to come on the front foot with Adam Watson trying his best on the edge of the penalty area, but unsuccessfully. Good scoring record for Stoke across all age groups, Adam Watson. And Wilkinson, the mastermind behind the... Under-18 Premier League North title last year and the national title too, plus the Under-17 Premier League Cup, which Manchester City want to keep hold of. They have to win this afternoon. Over to the far side, Stoke City come, and they're going to try the looping cross in towards the back post as uh, Hayder takes it round Murray-Jones, but can't apply the finish. Ambitious attempt from the tight angle. Now it's Stoke's turn too. Turn the screw a little bit early on against Manchester City. Lovely dink ball through. Watson can't get the connection he wants. This is this chance a moment ago for Hayder. Brought it down well as the ball looped over Carrington. Murray Jones tried to narrow the angles as much as he could and did just that. Hayder with the rather ambitious finish. Couldn't find the back of the net. Nil nil. Chasing for Alfie Harrison, hat-trick against Blackburn last time out, and here's an opportunity for Manchester City that Heskey tries to pull across goal. Here's Lawrence, lovely footwork, just taken a little wide. Carrington offers that support, the stretch boot of Whittington does well. City keep the possession in their favour. City down the left, into the penalty area, pulling it across goal. Too many Stoke City shirts in the way. Here's Naylor again on the left, likes to advance forward this time though. Chooses to go back into the centre circle and Mikhail Samuel will assess his options, turning it back out. Chances at both ends from the tight angles, one for Stoke and recently for Manchester City too. Still no breakthrough. Here's Harrison. Whittingham is that supporting option in field. Here's Lawrence again, he's looked lively early on. What can he do this time? Gets it on his left boot, but can't quite find the space to shoot. Whittingham to the penalty area for a Keke, but again, breaks down in that penalty area of Stoke City's for Manchester City, but the recovery work from the Blues to win it back, keep it in their favour. Keep Stoke under pressure. He's excellent in these opening six minutes or so. Good, good, keep going. Get the ball. Good. Win the ball. Good. Lowe. Watto. Lowe. Watto. Watto. Here's the Heskey chance from a few moments ago. Harrison on the left, but the pass back from Stoke was poor. Heskey got in, rounded the goalkeeper. By that point, the angle was too tight. Did excellently to even try and create a chance from a evaporating moment for him. The angles weren't in the favour of Lawrence either. Now, 
Samuel going long out to the left-hand side of Manchester City. Harrison won't give up the chase on that one. Will find space as well. Can he find the right ball in? He might, you know. There's Lawrence. And the shot is tipped over the bar by Ben Houston. Lawrence caught that well enough. The ball was rising. Had Houston worried. Manchester City had the first corner of the game. Harrison not giving up the chase. Allowed the ball to come under his control. And there was Lawrence, right-footed effort. It was at Houston, but forced him to put it over the bar. So Manchester City here. A promising opportunity from a set piece, which they go short with. Is Okeke. Corner comes to nothing, but Manchester City can fashion chances elsewhere. Ball down the middle. No one chasing on to that. Ben Houston, who is trying to provide a little calming presence at the back for Stoke City. And Ali Hayden. Good work to send the ball in field towards Nathan Lowe. Now, what can the captain do with it? Drifts it out to that. Far side, Seb Naylor will go on the chase, the cross will come in, header away. Dealt with comfortably enough by Manchester City. Bickerton. Stoke again with another early delivery, but that one's going nowhere near the penalty area. Just trying to work it away from their own box and make sure they don't give Stoke an easy opportunity. That's a lovely ball, and Okeke can stretch his legs down the middle here for Manchester City. Options to his left, right, and down the middle goes to the right. Lawrence, lovely footwork again. What an impressive debut in the under 17s cup this is for him. Whittingham, left footed drifting, arriving at the back post. Houston catches it and again calms things down for Stoke City. Whittingham's vision there, beautiful. The decisive Stoke City touch, wasn't it, in the penalty area that just again denied Manchester City a goal-scoring opportunity. Nice enough to chase, but Griffin able to deal with that. Ball in Stockport. Jack Griffin of uh, Stoke City. I think that's a first ten minutes that Ben Wilkinson can be relatively pleased with. His side have dominated the ball. One early chance for Stoke City and Hader, but... Apart from that, the big opportunities have been Manchester City, the lively creativity of Emilio Lawrence, not only to create chances, but have them for himself as Whittingham tries to win the ball back for Manchester City. Akeke will get himself involved in the play too. Harrison again, lovely ball into the penalty area. The angles will be tight and it's the heavy touch that just means the play will break down. Ashton Muir trying to get himself involved there with a goal-scoring opportunity. Hit the bar against Blackburn last month in the 6-0 win. It's Harrison turning provider. It was rolls reversed against Blackburn in that 6-0 win. Muir with a clever back heel to uh, assist. Alfie Harrison in one of his three goals that day. Two from open play, one from the penalty spot. Here he is again. And Muir. Again, it's the left where Manchester City are getting a, a fortune this afternoon. It's Heskey. Wants to turn, wants to shoot. Might fall to Muir. Ada will break away for Stoke. Go, work hard to get on the ball. 
And again, Manchester City doing what they do best and winning the ball high up the field. Here's Lawrence. Okay, okay, gets the run of the ball. Has he got a shooting opportunity at edge of the penalty area? Tries to roll it behind him, gets it to Lawrence across the goal. Here's Harrison. Oh, what a chance that is for Manchester City. After that hat trick last month, you'd have fancied him there to open his account today. So calm and composed in the midfield. Then it's that decisive ball. Okay, okay, got a little bit of fortune there. As Lawrence got it on the right, straight across the goal. Harrison had a look up, realised he could get the shot away. But couldn't get it on target. City knocking on the door again, though. Nil nil. Shout from the Stoke bench there of not being able to affect Manchester City and it's hard to disagree with that so far, the way the first 13 minutes of this game have gone. A must-win game for Manchester City, they've certainly started in the right fashion. Kyle Samuel to Naylor. And the left back finds the right back. Carrington allowed to head up towards the halfway line. Lawrence hadn't quite made the run that Okeke had hoped for. Could be in for a long afternoon, Stoke City here. They are top of the group, though. Group G in the Under-17 Premier League Cup. Manchester United and Blackburn also in the group. Blackburn bottom with no wins, no draws so far from their two games, but they might be asked to do Manchester City a big favour tomorrow in beating Manchester United. But City have to win this first before relying on other teams themselves. Ethan Lowe, the Stoke captain, trying to do his best in a rare moment forward for the Potters, but again, it's Manchester City defensively solid and strong, and they can use the full width of the pitch. Now Lawrence has gone on the run here. He might want to wait for support. He goes right across goal and Manchester City score. With the man who loves a goal in this competition, Alfie Harrison's there again for Manchester City. Lawrence had the pace, he had the vision. First time ball and a first time finish from Harrison. As easy as you like from Manchester City. And in a game they have to win, they lead Manchester City 1, Stoke City 0. 16 minutes on the clock for Manchester City with that opening goal. It took Stoke 16 to open the account on Saturday, but it's the other way around this time. And Manchester City will be hoping most certainly that Stoke don't Stoke don't do to them what they did to Stoke on Saturday and come from behind to win 3-1. On the evidence of the first 16, 17 minutes of this game, it is hard to see that happening. Manchester City have started well and in control and Alfie Harrison 
with the decisive goal so far that separates the two sides. Emilio Lawrence on his debut in this competition. Gets an assist too for Manchester City. A bright young talent, highly rated. Works with the same trainer that has worked recently with the likes of James McAtee and others within the Manchester City Academy. Now here's Hayden. Is he fouled there? The referee says yes. A free kick to Stoke City. Having a lot of chance today, isn't he? If he's having a chat for that, I think that's going to be a long, long day. Bickerton over this for Stoke City. Will Smith also having a look around in the background. Far from summertime here. Cold day in East Manchester. So Bickerton. Set to deliver this into the penalty area. The heads go up. It's a looping one. The referee has pulled that back for a foul anyway. Okay, caught. Harrison, the goal scorer. Muir wants a run, knocks it past his man as well. Ashton Muir into the penalty area and a Keke sticks a foot out, tries to connect cleanly with it. Guides it wide though. Frustrated himself, knowing he could have done better. Ashton Muir with all the work down the left hand side. Keke just not the finish he dreamt of in his head maybe at that moment. George Murray Jones, Manchester City's goalkeeper, on the ball. Signed in uh, July last year from South End United, but quickly into the under 18 setup last year of Manchester City to win that national title. Heskey's dropped deep to try and win the ball and set City off. And again, it's everybody looking to Lawrence on the right hand side. This time the Stoke defender just manages to get in the way and wins a free kick as well for all of Lawrence's hard battling work down that near side. A little reshuffle, it looks like, from the Stoke City manager. He's going to have to. They've not really been in this game yet. Guys, from the middle of the side, get ready to be a bit higher to go and press that one. Good. 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 A strong head up forward for Manchester City. Back to Houston, the Stoke City goalkeeper is Asplin Rowley. Good play by Stoke there with a the flick on header and trying to create space. Ali Hayder, the man to make things happen so far for them in this game, commits the foul on the edge of the penalty area to break down. He's good work for Stoke there. <laughs> Oh, 
Whittingham. He gets hold of the ball now, gives it to Lakyle Samuel. Whittingham's been quiet for the last five minutes or so after lots of influential play early on. Here's Harrison, the goal scorer. As he tries to work his way in and around the defenders. Manchester City have a corner here. Clearance hitting their own man from a Stoke City perspective. Kyle Samuel making his way forward. Eskey's in there. Lawrence at the back post. Another short corner from Manchester City, perhaps wanting different ways to work it, knowing the height advantage might be with Stoke with any form of a deep cross. Here's Harrison. Free kick Stoke, handball given against Manchester City there. There's the man at the moment. And this is why Lawrence with that. Run on the right-hand side, his first assist in an under-17s Premier League Cup competition. And Alfie Harrison, who's more than used to scoring in this competition, made no doubt about that one. Easy finish for him. It's been relatively easy for Manchester City so far in this game. Now, Watson's been replaced early on here for Stoke City. Signia Gina is on in his place. Watson, who is the man with the goals for Stoke City, they're going to miss him now. And Signia Gina is the man to come on. Number 15 for Stoke City. Looks like Hader will be asked to perhaps push a little bit further forward and Giant is just going to sit in that midfield to probably give Stoke a little bit more control or try and get control because they've lacked that certainly in the middle of the park. And here is Harrison forward. Alfie Harrison, he knows where Emilio Lawrence will be. On the right-hand side, as always, for Manchester City. Here's Whittingham. Carrington. City again looking to drop a shoulder, create space. And it's the ball over the top. Here is Harrison. At the last minute taken away by Oli Chaloner. A former striker of Stoke City who's been converted into the right-back role recently. Stopping Manchester City's strike on goal there. And Harrison frustrated, but he wasn't far away from a second goal in this game. Again, it's the patience that's paying off for Manchester City. Corner again. They haven't sent one of these into the box yet and they still don't now. Doesn't mean they won't create an opportunity. The offside is given in that latest move. Manchester City's forward stopping the short supply of Stoke. Harrison and Heskey doing the work there. Forcing them to go long, which they do, but it works. And here's Lowe, the captain. Pascal turns it round. Cross comes in, but that's easily blocked off by Whittingham. And Stoke have to settle for the throw in again. Some of the members of Manchester City's younger academy players there. <coughs> Hoping one day it might be them on this pitch in this competition. On a hopeful path through to the first team. Some treatment going on here. It's 
nicely cut to the mouth. Come from the block on the ball. Ball the throw in. See another incident that could have happened in, but treatment needed anyway. He's got to be happy. Ben Wilkinson. This side doing what they can to make sure they top the group tonight, Group G. And then it's down to Manchester United against Blackburn tomorrow. Jacob Wright receiving the treatment for Manchester City. Looks to be OK. Quick little bit of assessment on the far side from the medics and we hope to see him back on the pitch soon. In the meantime, Stoke City have a throw in at a dangerous end of the pitch for Manchester City and with a few little bobbles and deflections they hit the post but the whistle had gone long before then free kick to Manchester City still it's only that Hader chance for Stoke early on it has really threatened the Manchester City goal of George Murray-Jones So Naylor picks out brilliantly Eskew. Alfie Harrison. Eskew will just guide it away from Sol Cedarby. Harrington loses out, tries to win it back. He's slow, peeling away for Stoke. Needs some support up there. City back in numbers. Agina. Maskell. Has the overlapping option, takes it, corner. Good attacking, good defending from Manchester City and Stoke City there. Seb Naylor. Watching it all the way. It's Maskell who used his man Carrington, sorry, Challoner on the right-hand side. Naylor across, cuts it out. He's 17 year old, been with Manchester City's academy since the age of eight, Seb Naylor. And his scholarship in the summer. The corner goes in, easily dealt with by Manchester City. The goal scorer, Alfie Harrison, the long range effort comes in. That's never going to threaten George Murray Jones. 15 minutes to half time, Manchester City in the box seat on this one. Is Naylor again. One of the under 18 setup as well for this season, Seb Naylor. As Whittingham looks for Lawrence, who'd gone on the run, but sadly, Stoke had other ideas. Is Hayder. Stoke look to pressure the penalty area a little bit more than they have. Agina back to. Bickerton, Heskey coming back to do the defensive work as well. Cross comes in on the volley, ambitious, nearly worked. And it's still alive here for Stoke with Will Smith. Manchester City do enough, playing out from the back. So they were a lot more composed than perhaps it looked there. They make it count. A bit scrappy this period of play, the last minute or so. Stoke looked to ruffle a few feathers. Carrington's down, play will continue. Here's Hayder. The challenge comes in from Lawrence. Not only brilliant on the right wing attackingly, but also defensively too. Manchester City will settle for the corner on this one. Hayder checked. There was no foul given. From the referee, Lawrence back, makes the challenge. Stoke City corner only. Well. 
Corner goes in. It's a deep one. Header, goal. And from seemingly nowhere, Stoke City have an equaliser. Jake Griffin, the centre-back, getting up. Finds that equaliser. Stoke, we mentioned earlier, had the perhaps height advantage. And it's simple, really, for Griffin. Looping corner in. Griffin, Rose Tallest. And Stoke City, the leaders of Group G before today, are back level and back on top of the under-17s Premier League Cup group as it stands. All of Manchester City's good work and control undone for now. Still plenty of time before half-time to get back in front. But similar to Saturday, the home team takes the lead and the away team find an equaliser. 12 minutes to be precise for Manchester City to get back in front. Stoke themselves might and do find two goals in quick succession. The captain, Nathan Lowe. That's a real blow for Manchester City. Playing out from the back, got themselves in a little bother. Losing of the ball, one shot comes in. Murray's with save was good first time and second time, but low with the fortune. And the good looks on Stoke's side. And they turn it around, they lead Manchester City by two goals to one. And Stoke, who are unbeaten, heading into the game today in this group. One win, one draw. Are now in front, and it's going to need a fight back from Manchester City. They know they can do it. They did it on Saturday against pretty much this Stoke side. None of Stoke starting 11 started the under-18s match on Saturday. Harrison, Manchester City's goal scorer. That seems a long time ago all of a sudden. Bill switching formation from Stoke. That substitution with Angina coming on for Watson. Worked in their favour and a pass back has left Manchester City short, but George Murray-Jones read that well. He knew the danger and was alert out of his penalty area quickly to stop Stoke having a sniff of an opportunity. I feel hard done to by that Stoke second goal. Two good saves initially from... George Murray Jones. Again, Harrison quickly cut off by the Stoke right hand side, teaming up, ganging up on him. Well given against him now, perhaps in frustration. The little push in the back, pull of the shirt. Don't think you can have too many complaints about that, uh, Alfie. I'm afraid. Murray Jones goes long. Good for Lawrence again. Whittingham tries to keep it in Manchester City possession. Here's Hader. Foul. That's been Roly getting further forward than he has in this game. The 
Long legs of Emilio Lawrence stick out, but don't connect with the ball. Free kick to Stoke. Bickerton is there, set-piece man. One of those that's risen through the ranks with Stoke City, been with them since the under-9s. Left foot, in it goes, another looping one over Griffin, who scored Stoke's equaliser. He wanted to be in the mix there. Here's Maskell, though, to try and keep Stoke up that end of the pitch, but... Harrison wins it back, and here's Heskey. Lawrence has gone on a run. But Heskey is held up, prevented, and... Free kick given to Manchester City. Right from him in the last 10 minutes. Can he now set something up? Well, he tried to, he was fouled. Free kick. Whittingham got up his sleeve here. Referee is going to mark out a 10 yard gap. Be ambitious from here from Whittingham, but I'm going to say why not? He chose not to. On ball again. Lawrence has made the run, but it just swerves away from him. At the last minute, and it means it's a Stoke City goal kick. Some thinking to do for Ben Wilkinson, the Manchester City manager. Five minutes to half time. Manchester City trailing this one by two goals to one, having taken the lead. Murray Jones under a little bit of pressure does well, deals with that well enough. Oh, Naylor, lovely to keep it in on that far side. Down the left, City go. Heskey will hold it up on the touchline. And Muir takes over. Harrison, Muir again, can't return the pass through. Manchester City needs to find that intensity, that high pressing that they had early on in this first half. Just seemed a matter of time before they got their first goal, which they did through Alfie Harrison. Stoke have come back into it. Griffin and Lowe on the score sheet for them. And that's how they lead 2-1. Here is Lowe. Cross in. He's deep. It's been Rowley with licence to get further forward down that left-hand side. Now can send a returning cross in at the back post. And Lowe was sliding in. Manchester City get it off the line. Let's have another look at this then. That's been Rowley. Pass Carrington. And the cross in low was sliding in. But Lakyle Samuel was on the line, staying alert and cleared it for Manchester City. So you prevent them going further down in this game. Those dangerous crosses for Stoke that have proved problematic for Manchester City in this first half. A first half that's 
Seen the tide turn a little bit. Carrington will shield that back to Murray Jones and well. Harrison did well on the stretch there to keep it in. Manchester City possession. Here's Whittingham. Puts out a few dangerous passes early on. Can he do the same now to Lawrence on the right-hand side? That lovely footwork, the twists and the turns. Lawrence into the penalty area. Only for a moment, though. Stoke force him away from it. Naylor. Harrison. Oof. Well, I don't know whether he was going for goal or whether he fancied a low cross in, but either way, it proved dangerous on Stokes' goal. Naylor getting forward. Harrison. I think he was going for the low ball in, looking for someone to slide in there, but no one in the blue shirt was. That's Manchester City's best chance in a while, that. Should give them a little bit of confidence. Plenty to come at half time. Here on Match Day Live. With some exclusive content from City Studios. You'll See the moment that inspired the celebration yesterday. Jack Grealish, you'll see him meeting 11-year-old Finlay, who uh, lives with cerebral palsy. He's uh, one of the benefic benefits of uh, the city and the community scheme. Beneficiaries, that's what I should have said. Jack Grealish got to meet him. He got to meet Jack Grealish. The reaction yesterday from Finlay, you may have seen elsewhere, was brilliant. Described Jack as his best mate, which was great to see. So you can watch that video at half-time. Also see highlights of Manchester City women's win over Everton in the WSL. But here comes City looking to get level, and the low shot comes in from Ashton Muir. That was City at their slick best there, attacking in numbers, and Muir had pulled away to the left-hand side. The driven work by Okeke. Muir took over, fancy to go alone, and Houston with a save and clutched it close to him as well to stop City having a follow-up attempt to find out how much added time. Maybe one last chance at the end of this half for Stoke with the ball in from that right-hand side, dealt with by Manchester City. Some might have thought the referee blown for half time there, but he hasn't. Also, a chance at half time to see the rise of Americ Laporte, his rise from Bilbao to Manchester City. Spain play tomorrow in the World Cup. He hopes to be a part of the starting 11 offside given against Stoke there. Spain against Costa Rica. So, plenty to come at half time. And after half-time, we'll hope to see a Manchester City comeback. Just as Stoke have done. Harrison, Muir. City beginning to become frustrated now, those passes through, not quite working as they did in the opening moments of the first half. It seemed at times that Harrison would enjoy much of the action on the left-hand side. Maybe he'll get one last chance as the ball is given to him from Muir and he returns the favour. He can't work it through though for Manchester City, but the ball is still for the Blues to play with. Carrington, Whittingham. It's Jacob Wright and Lakyle Samuel. Captain. Clearance off the line from him. Three or four minutes ago was key. Come 
Stoke have numbers back here, and that's just restricting Manchester City for now. They'll happily keep the ball here, make Stoke work for it as it's drifted out to Harrison. They back to Naylor. And that will be that for the first half here at the City Football Academy. Alfie Harrison opened the scoring for the Blues just after the quarter of an hour mark. Low ball in from Emilio Lawrence on his under-17 debut for Manchester City. Alfie Harrison at the back post applied the finish, but Stoke came back. Griffin and low. And it gives Stoke advantage at the break. Here's the first, then Lawrence down the right-hand side. Great ball in. And Alfie Harrison was alert to it, and you can see the smile on his face. There were plenty of smiles in the City camp at that point. But Stoke had the height advantage from a corner and Jack Griffin made sure they were punished for that as well. And then just moments later, City tied themselves in knots. And Murray Jones did his best with two attempts, saved before Lowe applied the finish and gave Stoke a lead at half-time, two goals to one. So the second half on the way here on Match Day Live, where Manchester City will hope they can turn it around and win to top their group. For now, though, that is what Stoke are doing. They have turned it around and they do top the group. At the break, Manchester City 1, Stoke City 2. Manchester City trailing Stoke by two goals to one and they're going to make two substitutions at the start of this second half as well. Isaiah uh, Dada Maskol is coming on, as is Joel and Dala. Emilio Lawrence is one of those replaced, as is the captain, Lakyle Samuel. So a switch from Ben Wilkinson, the Manchester City manager, to try and get some more control in this game that in the end of the first half seemed to Leave Manchester City from how they started the opening 45 minutes. So they have to win if they want to progress through to the knockout rounds of the tournament that they currently hold the title of, the under-17s Premier League Cup. Stoke will qualify as group winners if they win today. He's a keke. For Manchester City, all in blue. We stoked the team in black this afternoon. City took the lead through Alfie Harrison in the first half, but the replies came from Griffin and Lowe. See how those changes from Ben Wilkinson impact City. Change the team. Jacob Wright is now the captain. As Naylor. Gets Ndala going for his first action. He tried to get it back through to Naylor as well, but... Stoke's defence sharp from the off. Here's Whittingham. To right, and now... Isaiah Dada Maskell, who uh, takes that role in the centre of defence. Can play centre-back, can play defensive midfield, so... Might look to help City on their way from the back. Long ball over the top. Offside given. Well, the complaints are there. The complaints are most certainly audible there. They didn't feel that... Uh, and Dala nor Harrison were offside, but the flag was up, the referee blew. Stoke had the free kick, it comes to nothing, and Manchester City can start again. They have to win to go top of Group G, and then they will look to what Manchester United and Blackburn do tomorrow. But for now, it's focusing on what Manchester City have in front of them. 
Right now it's Stoke on the ball with Sidibe. That's good. Challenger. Pressure from Mandala. Stoke City throw. Looking to cause problems again. That one, unlike his goal, fortuitously falls to the hands of George Murray Jones. It was the Stoke captain that got the fortune in the first half. It's Carrington. Arda Maskell, waiting game. Just got to be a little bit careful there. Harrison in a deeper role for now in the centre of the field. He spent most of the first half on the left. Now sets himself off and running, but Donna Maskell's the one on the ball. Third season of the Under-17 Premier League Cup, it was brought in. The 2020-21 season to bridge the gap between under 16 and 18 competitions. All 28 Category 1 academies invited to play in the competition. Seven groups of four teams. Manchester City, the holders. But on the verge of going out as it stands. Here's Naylor and Darla. A little flick inside. Harrison can have a look goalwards here. Darla stays out wide. Now, this is the control that Manchester City had early on in the first half, and it paid for them. Lovely step in field from Carrington. Here's Whittingham. Naylor wants to deliver that cross in at the back post. Can City keep it in play? I think they have, you know. Brilliant work by Ashton Muir on that far side. Yes, they've had to work it away from the penalty area, but they're still in possession and still put Stoke under pressure here with Andala. The three goal scorers on Saturday in the under 18s game between the two sides. Harrison brings that down well. Now Whittingham. Carrington, Muir. Two number 11s up against one another. This comes to a goal. The number of passes to get there from Manchester City will be up there with the very best. Here's Andala. Harrison. Andala again. Stood up to the back post. Under away by Stoke, but it's still Manchester City. And the cross comes in, and Harrison fancied a look at that, but Chaloner was in the way. Heading over his own bar, safety first from him. Let's have another look at this. Crossing from the right-hand side from Muir. Challenger made sure that that was his ball and not Harrison's. Now Manchester City in the first half, with each corner they had, chose not to go into the penalty area straight away, but they have height now. Oh, the is going to be the obvious target. Ali Hader down here for Stoke in the meantime. Eski Harrison and Arda Maskell, the three in and around the penalty area for Manchester City when they are allowed to take this corner. Still 
So it may have to turn to the bench here. Looks like we're ready to go. Manchester City chasing the equaliser. It's a short corner. Once again from Manchester City. Here's Whittingham. Dahl sticking close to that left-hand touchline for Manchester City. Nibble at the heels there. Did Maskellus Stoke. Manchester City still in possession. Oh. Crafty from Whittingham, and it works. Look even better on a replay if. Uh, it can come to something here for Manchester City. Naylor and Ndala. And now Harrison. This is all Manchester City. Reception comes from Chaloner, who's proved a nuisance in the last couple of minutes to Manchester City. Intercepting a cross and getting in the way there, and Dala goes down. I think that's going to be a... Well, I thought it was going to be a goal kick, but the referee... ..has given the uh, free kick to Manchester City there. Has he to Stoke, maybe? He's given it Stoke's way, hasn't he? Goal kick was given in the end, thought otherwise. Let's have another look at this... Uh, Piece of skill, shall we, from uh, young Matty Whittingham. Oh, lovely. Turning the centre circle. Got away from his man, kept Manchester City in possession. Harrison throws a foot in, but it's Stoke that come out with it. And here's Maskell trying to get away on the right-hand side. Shot comes in, but that was always George Murray-Jones's good sight of that, despite Seb Naylor's best attempts to throw the cha challenge in there as well. Ten minutes gone in the second half. This is going exactly like the first did. That's a lovely pass down the left-hand side, and Dala, the ball, just had a little bit too much pace on it. Stokes defence doing enough. Here's the moment that Stoke wanted to put themselves to clear. Maskell on the right-hand side. Went near post, Murray Jones level at it. Harrison just about kept that in play, plays the one-two with Heskey, trying to then make it the one-two-three, but... Unsuccessful is Sidibe. Here comes Stoke again now, just starting to build a little bit of confidence themselves. Can't do anything with the ball tight on the byline. Tried his best there. 
foul always looked like it was coming. And the referee eventually sways in Stokes' favour. And that was fairly won by Manchester City. Keke to Heskey. Couldn't find a route through to Ndala or to Harrison. The academy players of Manchester City watching on here at the City Football Academy. Is Naylor. So not just working there for Manchester City on the quick passing. Quite as slick as it has been in this second half at times. Manchester City need a route to goal. Which is good there from Naylor. In a tight situation here. And Dallas trying to do his best just to find something for Manchester City, but Stoke in numbers, try and win it back. And challenge comes in and allows Manchester City just to get back on the ball here in a situation where they look like they might lose it. And again, Whittingham in trouble, but free kick given in his favour. Dala does well. He's Carrington. Is he again getting close to the penalty area of Stoke City? But again, would rather keep the possession than risk anything for now. He got in the way there, but I think he's realised that as well, hasn't it? They can quickly. Here's Harrison. No, oh, he's got to finish. Offside flag, perhaps spares his blushes a little bit there. As Manchester City chased that equaliser on the hour mark. City were inventive, went with a quick free kick over the top. Harrison, who's got City's only goal in this game so far, was in. Pulled it wide, the offside flag was uh, there to help him out. Here's Maskell. For Stoke City. Challenger. First time delivery in. Murray Jones made the early call, watched it drop into his hands. Don't have their line set. Manchester City look to break them. First time balling from the right hand side. Harrison probably was never favourite for that header with the defender just in front of him. But he did his best. Carrington to Muir. Muir with the cross in. Might have even come off the Stoke head first and just put Harrison off. Nearly. Well, Smith in a new position on the right hand side for Stoke. As Bickerton sends a long ball forward. That 
tackled by the City defence. Here's Ndala to weave away, and he does brilliantly there now across the halfway line. Needs an outlet, needs support. Uses Carrington on the overlap. He sends it in towards Heskey. Mascal starts that off for Manchester City as they weave away forward with Ashton Muir. And Keke with a low ball in. Easily dealt with by the Stoke defence. Ski not quite in the right position. Here's Whittingham. And Naylor. Dana Maskell does well there. Created his own space. Nearly uses Ndala. Harrison, Ndala wanted it back. Nearly's peeled out wide. Just comes in. Maskey was waiting. Bit of time, but Ben Houston eventually out of his goal line to smother that ball before Jaden Heskey got there. Stoke here, maybe in again with low there, danger man, takes the shot, oh Murray Jones got down well there with the save, I think he saw that late through a crowd of players, good save from Manchester City, he's number one there, Nathan Lowe just watched the ball drop down on his chest, twists and turns and yeah, good save from George Murray Jones. I will be frustrated he hasn't got his second of the game in this match. There is a corner to Stoke on the way, but Josh Maskell's down for now. They're preparing Trey Gardner to come on the Potters. Twenty minutes in this second half, Manchester City can be happy with what they've done, but they'll be just as disappointed they still haven't had that route to goal, that real tester of Ben Houston's goal. Chance for the Stoke manager to regather his players. They knew they'd be in a test this afternoon, but they are proving a match for the test. Josh Maskell is up and walking off. That's good news for Stoke City. So proved how quickly things can turn around in this game. Maskell will be replaced. There'll be no further action for him. Trey Gardner comes on for him. Two goals in as many minutes for Stoke. Helped turn things around there. In the first half to give them this 2-1 advantage. They look to make it three now with this corner. And are away by Harrison. Once more by Muir. We'll come to the edge of the box for Sidibe. He's challenging it. Max. 
Stoke still with Gardner. Near post. Murray Jones across to cover it again. Half a half for Manchester City to turn this around. They have to win if they want to reach the knockout stages. They know that. That won't be lost on Ben Wilkinson, the manager, either. And here's a ball that can help open up Stoke a little bit with Okeke, but his vision to find. And Dala couldn't be matched by his footwork. Here's Naylor. And Dala. Harrison. Turn back outside for Okeke. And that's a goal kick. Oh, Lowe's in again here for Stoke City and Murray Jones will be under pressure yeah. and Lowe applies the finish and Stoke City might now look for top spot of Group G the captain with his second goal of the afternoon Puts Manchester City further in trouble. Lovely ball over the top from Will Smith. Low latched onto it. Murray Jones could only try and make himself as big as possible to make the angle smaller, but he tucks it past him. Cool and calm, right-footed finish. Another slide on the knees. And it's Manchester City 1, Stoke City 3. And what was a hill to climb for Manchester City before has perhaps just become a mountain. Nathan Lowe, who has two this afternoon, he's from Manchester. Last season broke not only into the under-18s like many of the stars out here this afternoon, but also into Stoke City's under-23s as well. City have to respond, they will have to respond quickly, and Ndala wants to try and get them going. He showed the fancy footwork, but Lowe could be in again here with the long clearance, and Lowe's on a hat-trick here for Stoke. He goes to chip Murray Jones. The angles are on, and Lowe will be denied the match ball. How quickly that turned around. Jacob Wright couldn't get back quick enough. Murray Jones was always comfortable once the ball had been lobbed that that was bending away from goal here's Ndala and the runs there from Naylor only Heskey in the box he's now joined by support as it goes in just over the head of Heskey as well it's the way it's been this afternoon for Manchester City Ndala Just not quite happening, or is it now? KK just hammered a right boot at that, didn't he? That. The frustration may be in that shot as to what's happened in this game. The Stoke City player there saying, keep it easy for the last 10, ambitiously hoping maybe the clock would run down a little bit more than it had. 20 minutes to go for Manchester City to find two, maybe three. And turn on the style. Here is Muir. Here is Okeke. Harrison in the middle. Space for Naylor to pull it back across. And again, there's a Stoke City body in the way. Corner, though. Naylor was there on the stretch. The clearance came in anywhere will do for Stoke. 
Corner short again by Manchester City. Here's Ndala. Back out to Naylor. Naylor with the cross in deep. We picked up on that far side. Another cross in. Another header. Away by Stoke and the volley to match. Oh, Keke again getting in the promising positions and the pullback and Andala wide. Oh my God. Was that the moment for Manchester City? Joel Andala, who's worked hard in this second half since coming on as a substitute to find the space, create the chances, had one of his own there. And Keke with the vision to pull it back. And Andala just couldn't get the connection he wanted with it there. So Ali Hader, who had a bright moment right at the start of the game, he is off, and uh, Ian Togo comes on to replace him. Oh, again, with that ball over the top, wants to make the run for Stoke, and he does. Has he got enough on the touches there to make it work in his favour? Oh, brilliant save by Murray Jones, the follow-up twice, and the third one onto the crossbar and into the roof of the net. Murray Jones with two brilliant reaction saves there to keep Manchester City who have the smallest hope of getting anything from this game anyway. Well, it's thanks to Murray Jones there. And maybe that bit of fortune with the crossbar is what City needed. George Murray Jones, the 18-year-old, in his second season with Manchester City there, proving perhaps just why he was signed as a young lad from Southend. Ashton Muir tried the clever back heel. Manchester City have won a corner. Fifteen minutes for Manchester City. You need to win to top group G. Seven groups, four teams, the best runner-up from those seven groups also gets a place in the knockouts, but City will be short of that as it stands. He's Dada Maskell. Stoke happy to let City have it out wide. It's what City can do in the box that'll matter. The cross comes in. Second bite of the cherry, maybe off the post. And the follow up can't be in either from Okeke. Goodness me. Manchester City, it just has not fallen their way today. Okeke's oh, right footed shot off the post. He took the chance that fell to him. He just needed a little bit of fortune. All just slowed up at the crucial moment there for Manchester City. They recover it well. 
A trail by three goals to one. 13 minutes left. Double substitution on the way from Ben Wilkinson. Justin Aboado. And Farid Alpha Ruprecht to the two to come on for Manchester City. Alpha Ruprecht scores City's first in a combat win over Stokes under 18s on Saturday. They were 1 0 down, they won 3 1. A Boado scored the uh, six in the 6 0 win over Blackburn. Last time out in this competition. Seb Naylor and uh, Ashton Muir, the two that are replaced. Here's Andala for Manchester City. Can fresh legs inject some energy into this performance that has not been lacking from Manchester City for large parts? It's the final product that's been the difference between the two sides. Here's a Boado. Ten minutes for Manchester City in this game, and as it stands in the Premier League Cup for under 17s, here's Carrington on the left hand side of defence, has spent the majority of the game on the right hand side. Ada Maskell forward. Okeke again, trying to inject some magic into Manchester City's attack. Ada Maskell. For Ruprecht. That's a challenge from Okeke. That took too much of the player for the referee's liking. Glance to the skies. I think he knew he was in the wrong there. Well, Michael Okeke. Come City again. Oh, Keke wants more too. Whittingham. He's tried to force that into Andala, who is offside. If they come back from here, it will be a performance of champions from the reigning champions. Manchester City. Big Spurs in the final last year. Comprehensively, too. Get up, get up! Now, 
At times now, Lowe's had a look at those intercepting options for him as Boado goes forward. Now for Ruprecht. Gets it in. Oh, Harrison couldn't adjust his feet quick enough, and he knows it as well. And Lowe will go on the chase here. Jacob Wright's trying to put him off. Lowe's in for a hat trick. He again tries to chip Murray Jones, but he's having none of it. Manchester City's goalkeeper. Chances at both ends in quick succession. We've seen that already in this game as well. Whittingham goes down. Free kick to Manchester City. There's that chance again for Stoke. Nathan Lowe on a hat trick, went for the chip. A bit more accuracy, goal bound this time, but this time Murray Jones more than gratefully receives that in his hands. Here's Alpha Ruprecht substituting this second half for Manchester City. A bit of pressure, keeps the ball well. Harrison turned around the corner by Heskey. Keke. The Ruprecht again, here's Carrington. Ndala, Carrington leaves it to Ndala, but the layoff is poor to Alfie Harrison. This time Jacob Wright doesn't let Nathan Lowe get the better of him. Alpha Ruprecht puts that ball in. Oh, Stoke nearly turn it into their own net. And the fortune just goes with the Potters again. That doesn't run over the byline for a corner. Alpha Ruprecht with the work this time for City. And with those low balls comes that danger as Stoke have found out there. Sticking a foot out at it can be problematic. It's Dada Maskell. A Boado. To Okeke in the penalty area. Now for Ruprecht and Aboado combine again. Whittingham goes from distance. That takes a big deflection, gives Manchester City a corner. That chance again. Didn't go out for a corner that one, but so dangerous. Those low balls in the box. He's right. We prep trying to get it through for a Boado, and it's another ball over the top. And this time, Murray Jones isn't even letting it get near the penalty area. Brilliant work from the 18 year old to storm out of his box and win the header. And the defence looked like they might be in trouble. Stoke forward again. Low looking in position. But there might be work to go along there, and Murray Jones is once again grateful to receive. Now, with Stoke coming forward, has that allowed Manchester City to create? Much space, an opportunity down the left, maybe with Harrison over the top for Ndala, who will watch the flight of the ball. And once more, the flag is up on that far side. Get up! 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 Get up!
It's offside against Stoke as well. Stoke closing in on what is likely to be a place in the knockout rounds of the under-17 Premier League Cup. Big win for Manchester United tomorrow against Blackburn. Might change that. And they've also put themselves in a strong position to be the best runner-up as well. Glum looking, Ben Wilkinson. Let's watch this side take a 1 0 lead and give it up. 3 1 to Stoke City, the score as we head into the final two minutes. Well, Salt, we don't get out of here. Salt, well, you need to take one, don't get out of here. Well, well, just swing it well, not too far, well, swing it. Salt discipline, be going fun, be going fun, be going fun. Go ahead, Sid. Ten him in, ten him in. Come side! Can you uh, kick City off guard there with the throw in? So uh, the defence stands to the test. Into the final minute, Manchester City 1, Stoke City 3. Big interception and another big moment for Stoke City, but Manchester City if nothing now, can take the gloss off Stokes' win, perhaps, with a goal here. Here's Harrison. Carrington. Back to Harrison. He's right. has been the story of the game. Manchester City have the fortune out wide. Stoke are happy to let them have it there. Here's Ndala. And now Carrington. That's a nice reverse pass by Ndala. And it away once again by Stoke. Whittingham will get it back under Manchester City control. Ndala. Lows off again. This time, City a goal side. Still low. Good challenge comes in, but there might be danger. Sidibe getting in, but couldn't apply the finish. Wanted to go across. Murray Jones is far post. Picked up the ball well. Tried the right footed shot. And wide. And to added time, we are. So, so, while he's off, so is a 5 3 1. Treatment here to Will Smith. Hey, Well, Stoke have come with a game plan and it's worked for them. Resist Manchester City in the middle, particularly in the final third. City opened the scoring with Alfie Harrison, but Stoke have certainly in the first half taken their chances. They took their time to grow into the game. Drake Griffin with a header. From a corner, that was followed up by Nathan Lowe with a close range finish. He added a third for Stoke, his second in the second half. And City just have struggled to find a reply. 
There is the man. Captain. The match winner. Yes, ref, go me! Yes, ref! Yes, ref! Okay, Steve, let it stop. Chance, take no. up well, keeps it going for Manchester City. Here's Whittingham. Mosen Dahler will be out on the left hand side. Carrington have made the overlapping run. Harrison on the edge of the penalty area returns it through for Ndala. Don't get the block in again. Whittingham. Carrington. Whittingham's on the overlap here. Low ball into the box, too close to the goalkeeper. And from Manchester City's perspective, that might be that. Safety first from Ben Houston in the Stoke City goal. Right, we'll see that back to George Murray-Jones in the Manchester City net. That's a good overlapping run. Keep it in, send it in. It's again Ben Houston is there. Houston happy to run down the seconds, run down the clock. Aiden Heskey applies a little bit of pressure. Nothing but to encourage the play. Nice run that from Carrington. Infield it goes. Harrison, Heskey all involved. Here's Harrison again. Heskey on the turn. Retreats in the penalty area for now, the ball. Boadou forward. And there goes the full-time whistle. Well, Stoke City put themselves in pole position for the knockout rounds of the Premier League Cup for under-17s. But for Manchester City, the reigning champions, the journey ends here. Beaten by Stoke, they'll not reach the knockouts. They'll not be able to defend their trophy anymore. They had the lead, but Stoke have turned it around. They've defended solidly. And they've beaten Manchester City by three goals to one here this afternoon at the City Football Academy. It all started so well for Manchester City and Ben Wilkinson's side. Lawrence on his under-17 debut was in on the right, low ball across, and Alfie Harrison applied the finish. City knew they had to win to stand a chance. They got off to the best possible start. Jake Griffin rose highest from a header to equalise for Stoke City. And then the problem started for Manchester City. Two goals in two very quick minutes. A clearance away from the box that lacked somewhat Two shots in, Murray Jones as he had done all afternoon with some outstanding saves. But that third one proved too much for him and Nathan Lowe was there, the captain, to get his first of the afternoon. And the third for Stoke and Nathan Lowe's second, probably the best move of the match. Will Smith over the top, Lowe slides it past George Murray Jones. That wraps up the win for Stoke, puts them top 
of Group G leaves Manchester City out of the competition. The Blues will have had more of possession and more of the chances, but they just couldn't make it work today. Under the grey skies of East Manchester, perhaps a weather climate that sums up the mood. Manchester City 1, Stoke City 3.